to Syria now, where Bashar al-Assad's regime says Israeli warplanes have targeted a military base near the town of Masiyaf. The airstrike killed two soldiers and caused major damage in the compound. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says the site is a military center for the development and production of chemical weapons. For more on this story, I'm now joined from Gaziantep by TRT World's editor-at-large, Ahmed al Barai. Ahmed, this is not the first time Israel targets military sites in Syria. What exactly do we know about this particular target? Well, the former uh, head of the military intelligence, the Israeli former head of the military intelligence, tweeted yesterday that the attack is not normal. What we have in hand so far is the attack is either one of these narratives. According to Haaretz, the Israeli newspaper and other foreign media outlets, uh, the place or the site is being used as a plant for manufacturing chemical weapons, while the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights claims that it is a research center used to develop chemical weapons. The, uh, the Syrian regime says it is a military factory, it is a military facility where two of its soldiers have been killed after the attack. Other uh, theories speaking about Hezbollah, the, uh, the uh, Lebanese military group, is using this site to manufacture its uh, missiles and weapons where convoys have been tracked in this place, coming out from this place to uh, the Japanese borders. And Ahmed, can you tell us more about the timing of this incident? It comes a day after the UN War Crimes Commission released the findings of that investigation confirming the regime of Bashar al-Assad used chemical attacks several times, conducted several chemical attacks several times during this war. Absolutely. The, uh, the attack came a day after this report where independent investigators of the uh, OPCW, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, uh, issued their report documenting uh, 33 uh, a, a chemical attack in Syria where they claim that 27 of these attacks were perpetrated by the Assad regime, while the six others have been have not been identified yet. So uh, the uh, the former the former uh, mil head of the military intelligence in Israel said that the the place itself is used to manufacture uh, weapons and arsenal. Uh, barrels of explosives that have been responsible for the death of thousands of Syrian civilians. So he tweeted in a statement that the attack is finally a moral Israel, moral response to the, uh, about the massacre, what he called the massacre in Syria, while activists here claim that Israel itself is being accused of committing war crimes in Gaza. So what we have, the attack and the report, the activists claim that it is. Uh, it does have political messages that need to be waited and see why this happened at this particular time, particularly before the coming uh, negotiations in Astana. All right. Ahmed Alborai, live for us in Gaziantep. Thank you for that.